for people who have witnessed or themselves been harmed by the gravest of crimes, genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes, justice must be done and must be seen to be done. Titene azo kwe a inga tene polele nanduti kusala ti dati fango bangati kiki mobimba ti nganga tene polele nanduti nsoni fango bangati lo aike kusala so dati fango bangati kiki mobimba mbini aike saka titene azo inga tene nanduni nsoni. Almahakamat wal ishraat al ukhra tahsul ala buadi alaf al amyal wal kilometrat min al jamaat lati taasthat wa lati tadararat bil faal min hathi al jaraim. Tijwa Ana mewe kujama bal kiti mikomge gune ni ngol mati utime dokian meni ada ni ngol mati manti kati me. Nous aidons les gens à comprendre le travail de la cour. Nous clarifions les idées fausses et nous encourageons des attentes réalistes. We address the concerns of the affected communities and keep an open dialogue with various communities across the country. Nous œuvrons à la promotion du travail de la Cour et suscitons une plus grande implication des communautés locales. Nous sommes le personnel en charge de la sensibilisation, travaillant et servant les populations de la République démocratique du Congo, de la République centrafricaine, de l'Ouganda, ainsi que les communautés affectées par la situation au Darfour. Au Uganda, à Bongosi, Ikerai Oreri Aikeji. Abu ate nutunika muti wea na rakiro na adieke tina kwa pukere o tupak itunga lu atutube na kechi. Awea na rakiro nu adieke ti angaje pa nu acholi, nu ateso, nu amadin keda alangoi. Inera na kinata ate nutuna awea na rakiro ka kede itunga lu ikamutoske ilukumini ka ilukumini. Ochama na kinete itunga angiseta. The main issues for the discussion remain the outstanding arrest warrants, victims and witness protection, and the peace talks between the government of Uganda and the Lord's Resistance Army commanders. Dul mapajenga gomgamente, lutiya no kwan, lufonye, lufonye madon ay gan kwan ki universities. Dul dano magetiki goro. Vulu, mon, wengi ne wengu diere me yopoka chok ma papa me wunyu lock kom court na ICC. And why target NGOs? NGOs are key stakeholder in the urban space. They are based in the local communities. They directly interface with the people. Outreach is not seeking support for the poor per se. It is the right of the people. It is we're not doing the people a favor. It is their right to know, to understand what the ICC is, and that is what, what we do as an outreach section, so that people can follow the processes of the court. Not only what is happening in Uganda, but other places in the world where the ICC is currently investigating or intends to, to investigate. We believe NGOs can play a major role. Our teams visited 21 secondary schools in the north and northeast parts of Uganda and Kampala, and the outreach clubs were established in five of these schools. Students responded to ICC questions in quiz competitions in five schools in the Soroti district. It had been announced, and we heard on medias, that there were, the arrest warrant had been issued to Joseph Cohn and to those members. But for how long does it take? Okay. You people, to arrest those people. <laughs> <laughs> the Rome Statute does not provide for a police force or an army for the ICC. The countries, the, the member countries, there are 108, have the obligation to arrest and surrender uh, wanted, any, any wanted person to the ICC. During 208 interactive sessions, 20,798 people were directly engaged and their questions and concerns addressed. 
having worked with the affected communities over the years, we realized that the participation of women in outreach activities is very passive in the sense, if you call a town hall meeting, a general meeting, you can count how many women come. And even among those women that do come, they don't feel confident to explain their concerns or to even ask questions. And we thought we should design a specific outreach event for women wherein they can come amongst themselves, having shared similar experiences, they can feel free and explain their issues without feeling intimidated and so on. Another group that needed special attention were people with disabilities. During meetings with people with hearing impairments, a sign language facilitator helped to effectively communicate and to answer their questions and address their concerns. Millions of people were also reached through radio programs. In the areas where the most affected people live, partners of the outreach unit hosted interactive talk shows on justice, answering hundreds of questions from listeners on the ICC. The outreach unit also participated in 38 radio panel discussions. Overall, 160 hours of weekly interactive radio programs, 70 hours more than last year, were broadcast, reaching an estimated audience of 8 million people. In the coming year, the Outreach Unit intends to continue strengthening its partnership with NGOs, community-based organizations, local media, and mobile networks. By strengthening local capacity and the active participation of local organizations, in the dissemination of information about the ICC, more areas will be reached and more people engaged. Specially designed workshops for women, school children and people with disabilities will continue in new areas and with follow-up programs. منذ إحالة الوضع في دارفور أمام المحكمة بقرار من مجلس الأمن الدولي في العام 2005 أصدرت المحكمة الجنائية الدولية ثلاثة أوامر بالقبض ضد أحمد هارون علي كشيب والرئيس السوداني عمر البشير مؤخرا أصدرت المحكمة أيضا أمرا بالحضور ضد بحر إدريس أبو جاردة الذي مثل طوعا لأول مرة أمام القضاة في أيار مايو من هذا العام I would like you to tell me your name your date of birth and your profession, please, Mr. Bagada. Ismi Bahar Idris Abu Garda, Rais Ajabh al Mutahida Lil Mukawam. Ba Idris Abu Garda is a suspect and faces charges of three war crimes allegedly committed on 29 September 2007 against the African Union peacekeeping mission in the Sudan. In his presence, the court held a confirmation of charges hearing during the last two weeks of October. During these proceedings, the outreach unit produced and distributed seven audio and video summaries of the hearings in English, French, and Arabic. The videos were uploaded onto the internet and distributed to international, regional, and local media for broadcast. The request for a warrant of arrest against the Sudanese president, Omar al-Bashir, attracted large media attention the press conference held at the seat of the court in The Hague was broadcast live by all major media. The outreach unit produced and distributed summaries for radio and television to all interested media who were not able to attend. هذا العام عقدت 20 جلسة ولقاء مع أكثر من 650 شخصا من السودانيين المقيمين خارج السودان. الجماعات التي تم التركيز على مخاطبتها تضمنت اللاجئين الدارفورين في تشاد والسودانيين المقيمين في بلدان أخرى كما عقدت وحدة التوعية في المحكمة الجنائية الدولية عددا من اللقاءات مع السودانيين المقيمين في أوروبا وذلك بالتعاون مع المنبر الديمقراطي السوداني الذي يضم أكثر من 14 منظمة تمثل المجتمع المدني والجماعات النسائية ومختلف الحركات والتنظيمات السياسية Presentations by court officials and Sudanese experts were followed by live discussions that served to clarify any misunderstandings, clear all misperceptions, and counter misinformation. All sessions were videotaped and edited in the form of radio and television programs and broadcast by media outlets and posted on internet sites. The 
المواد التي قدمها المدعي العام تدل على أن الشخص المشتبه بارتكابه للجرم يقبل بالحضور طوعا أمام المحكمة أما أمر بالقبض فيعني أنه ينبغي إلقاء القبض عليه من أجل أن يحضر أمام المحكمة The Registrar of the Court, Ms. Silvana Abia, conducted outreach activities in two refugee camps for Sudanese refugees in Eastern Chad, Bridging and Tridging. What do the population, the civils, the victims can expect from the court? First of all, the truth of what happened, the truth of the events. How do you qualify these events as a crime? Is it related to genocide? Is it related to crimes against humanity or crimes of war? Ça, ça appartient au juge de la CPI. La justice, le rétablissement des faits dans leur vérité, l'identification des responsables. Mais aussi, on peut s'attendre de la Cour la protection des droits à la réparation. La réparation signifie dans le système de la Cour que euh, les victimes ont droit à la réhabilitation, la restitution des biens et toute autre forme de compensation Material and moral. Outreach efforts were complemented with the use of the media. 250,000 refugees were regularly informed thanks to a partnership with Internews Radio. Many others have also been informed via radio stations and internet sites popular amongst Sudanese people, both within and outside of Sudan. The Darfur situation remains a challenge due to security reasons and the fact that ICC staff are not allowed in Sudan. Next year, special efforts will be made to enhance outreach activities to engage Sudanese people living in other countries throughout Europe and in Egypt. Furthermore, the outreach unit will focus on raising awareness and promoting a clearer understanding of the court amongst the Arab world through the use of the media. Special attention will be paid to building networks of professors and students from selected universities, NGOs and legal communities. To keep target groups informed on judicial developments, face-to-face -face meetings will be held, complemented by ICC audiovisual productions and an increased use of international media, in particular Arab media, as well as radio stations and popular internet sites covering Sudan and Chad. Dans la situation en République centrafricaine, les activités judiciaires liées à l'affaire Le Procureur contre Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo se sont considérablement développées durant toute l'année 2009. Nangangouti Kusala tient la sort à l'équipe Vunga Sango. Nandoti Kusala tient la tête Fangong Bangati Kiki Mobiba. A la sort à Kamouni Kiti Pé Afrika So, on gotia la Uningi à la matinée. Zoni Fadesso Nandoti Kusala tient la tête Fangong Bangati Kiki Mobiba. Kusa la so ala sarne mingi na ndoti ala so ala ekina liti bumbi ala so si ala ketongana akota zona yati vaka so amuna na lege titene ala busunga na terta la so si ala inga tena ndoni pepe ala fateni nala kusa la so nga amule ge mingi titene akiri na pekoti akota a unda so si a ita ti be afrika a ito unda na ndoti kusa la ti dati fangong banga ti gigi mbimba a kusa la so nga gina bangi oko pepe Gunga na yatin gunda, aguna mbege ti bimbo, aguna mbege ti mungumba. Mena msosu kwa mana dijati kwa kroni, siya mwinyanda, kute na sara shoni na ati eske fade lona, eske mito, eske lo kutista ange, ato tuku nisi te matabate na ndoksa kuniso. Dani la si te mati mite meni, je miso, kwa tambela miso anyo yana te sati beho miso, na reke mwane na sungo, mwoko na sungo niso, azu na budi mwini. À la passion de tes hommes, on a une petite nation. À la tenue, tu m'en as dit qu'il croit encore. Si tu n'as pas pensé qu'il croit encore, c'est un petit ça. Il te croit pas moi, tu dis mon bébé, tu es le gars, le bébé, 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 Nations Unies. Donc, ton avis qui condamne à une carrière de salaire le sous le tissa coupe de l'international par personne par des conseils soit de l'Ina c'est un tissa coupe de l'international. In January 2009, a confirmation of charges hearing was held in the Hague. It was broadcast over a five-day period via the internet to the field office in Bangui. 
On average, 20 journalists present had the opportunity to put questions to the outreach unit staff as well as to receive documents and copies of video and audio summaries of the proceedings. Video summaries of the proceedings taken during the confirmation of charges hearing in the case of the prosecutor against Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo were produced in The Hague in French. The videos were projected during outreach interactive sessions and broadcast on radio stations and Central African television. La plupart des victimes que je représente aujourd'hui ont mentionné que le préjudice dont elles ont souffert et souffrent encore n'ont pas été traités. Toutefois, l'expression de leur voix à travers leur participation dans cette procédure constitue, je l'espère, une manière d'adresser ces préjudices. L'unité de sensibilisation a également encouragé la population centrafricaine à s'intéresser à la Cour pénale internationale par le lancement d'un vaste programme radio de sensibilisation intitulé « Mieux comprendre la Cour pénale internationale ». Ce programme radio a été entièrement produit en Sango, la langue la plus communément parlée en République centrafricaine. Getting to know the International Criminal Court, a series of 13 radio programs in Sango, was broadcast on 15 radio stations targeting a potential audience of 700,000 people. In the course of 2009, the staff of the outreach unit gave 28 interviews to the media, personally delivered 29 press releases and held periodical briefings. Also, journalists were trained on ICC issues. In addition to that, 13 episodes of Ask the Court program were produced in French. In this program, 39 people from the CAR had the opportunity to put questions to the court and receive answers from the president of the court, the registrar, and the office of the prosecutor. Bonjour, les Centrafricains ont suivi avec beaucoup d'intérêt le, le procès de confirmation de charges contre Jean-Pierre Bemba. Alors, on aimerait savoir si, si cette charge a été donc confirmée. Combien, comment, quelle sera donc la durée de ce procès? The trial's duration will depend on the complexity of the case and the number of witnesses each party wishes to call. The trial is likely to last at least several months. Between January and September 2009, about 4,500 people were engaged in the process. Next year, the unit will continue serving them in follow-up activities, but priority will be given to those people in the provinces. Particular attention will be given to local media with the provision of workshops aimed at training local journalists. Outreach activities in Bangui will also focus on women's groups, victims' associations, human rights NGOs, law professors, students, and legal practitioners. L'année 2009 a été marquée par le début du premier procès de la Cour pénale internationale dans l'affaire Thomas Lobangadilo. En République démocratique du Congo en particulier, en Itori, à Kinshasa et dans le Dokivu, des milliers de personnes, hommes, femmes, enfants et jeunes, et même des personnes déplacées, ont participé aux activités de sensibilisation et de grandes réunions publiques à travers des villes et des villages. In the Kivus. And Ituri, in the areas most affected by the conflict, special attention was given by outreach to the most affected groups, the victims of crimes, and specifically women and demobilized child soldiers, but also the religious leaders, community leaders, NGOs, and members of the army and the police force. <laughs> Ce pays c'est quoi Ce pays c'est Cour pénale internationale. Ce pays ne coûte beaucoup à qui m'a taif. Créé pour juger les criminels, les gens qui commettent des crimes. Et nous lui ont dit à Dieu à 
jugé bat bien va faire ma cause ma ma wadi ma wadi kuba kuba Almost 1,000 people participated in the outreach activities in Bogoro and Kasenyi during the visit of the Registrar of the Court. Mezabia is the first highest official of the court to visit villages in Ituri. In Kinshasa, the focus of outreach activities this year were lawyers, government officials, NGOs, students and university professors, secondary school children, human rights activists and media representatives. Eleven schools participated in the Day of Culture event organized by the Outreach Unit in Kinshasa. Students read poems, performed ballet, dances and theater plays in front of 300 spectators with the message that the armed forces are not the place for children and that recruitment of children is an international crime. <laughs> Thirty listening clubs in Ituri are part of an outreach community project created with the goal of keeping an open channel of communication with local communities. These clubs with an average of 60 members each, gather to listen to summaries of court hearings on local radio stations and to discuss them. Millions of Congolese citizens were informed about the court in French, Swahili and Lingala through programs broadcast by local radios and national television. Le personnel en charge de la sensibilisation sur le terrain a donné réponse à des centaines de questions et abordé les préoccupations des communautés affectées. Le tout dans un souci de regarder le contact permanent et une interaction avec les populations. The most commonly asked questions this year were related to the protection of victims and witnesses, the length of proceedings, immunity for the highest state officials, cooperation of the states, and the investigations in the Kivus. <laughs> Le résumé, comme on a dit tout à l'heure. Oui. Ouais. Bon, quelle est la question maintenant bon, La question maintenant est de savoir pourquoi la CPI n'a pas tenu compte de Bon, parce que. La compétence de la Cour sur des crimes ne commence qu'à partir de juillet 2002. Les crimes commis avant juillet 2002 ne sont pas de la compétence de la CPI. C'est un principe de droit. Une autre affaire dans la situation en République centrafricaine a eu un impact en RDC. Des milliers de personnes ont suivi l'affaire Jean-Pierre Mbemba Gombo. The battle against rumors and propaganda in the media related to the case of Jean-Pierre Bemba was waged through timely, accurate and constant contact with journalists and editors. The outreach unit estimates that nearly 25 million people were reached in 2009 through television, radio and the print media. From January to September 2009, staff in Kinshasa and Bunia gave 680 interviews in French, Swahili and Lingala and hosted 33 press conferences. Audio summaries of the proceedings were regularly broadcast by seven partner radio stations in Ituri and three in the Kivus. Extensive judicial activity is expected in the upcoming months in this situation. The trials of Thomas Lubanga and Katanga and Gujolo Chui will continue. There will also be developments in the case of Bemba with the commencement of the trial in April. We also foresee an increased number of outreach activities in the Kivus where the Office of the Prosecutor is currently conducting investigations. Another priority will be to foster greater interaction with women's and youth groups, legal practitioners and schools and universities, and introducing the basic tools to include gender perspective in thematic discussions. With the positive response received this year from the Congolese communities, we will continue embarking together in new endeavors and projects. By working in this way, the Outreach Unit aims to give the people ownership of the court, rendering it an institution that works for them and in their name. 
L'année prochaine, nous continuerons à informer et à obtenir l'adhésion des communautés les plus affectées au procès et aux procédures qui se déroulent dans cette salle d'audience. With the resources we have, we will make efforts to inform affected communities in countries with situations that might come before the court in the future. Notre travail de terrain doit faire face à de nombreux défis. Tout d'abord, les contraintes liées à la sécurité, les moyens de communication limités, ainsi que les difficultés pour se déplacer à l'intérieur du pays font partie des défis que nous devons surmonter dans notre travail quotidien. But despite all odds, the outreach teams will continue meeting the people and informing the media with the aim of bringing the court closer and meaningful to the communities.